Hey everybody, welcome back to Elaine Burton Art. I appreciate you being here. Today I'm doing a pour for another Nate's Art Lab collab. If you don't know artist Nate Bright here on YouTube, he's a wonderful artist that has a Patreon group called Nate's Art Lab. And every month we're challenged with doing something different and showing it to you on YouTube. This month we were all challenged with different styles of ring pours, nobody doing the same thing. And my assignment is a ring pour into a dustpan, and that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm working on an Artist Loft 14 by 18 gallery wrapped canvas. It has been taped and pinned on the back. And I have also sprayed it with water to tighten it up a little bit. It wasn't very tight, so we need that to keep the paints from not pooling in different places and especially in places where we don't want them to be. So the colors I'm using today are Liquitex Basics Silver, Lucas Krill Studio Turquoise, Amsterdam Cobalt Blue Ultram, Amsterdam Azo Orange, Pebio Studio Acrylics in the Iridescent Green Blue. DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 Karat Gold. And Amsterdam's Expert Series of Indanthrothene Blue. I feel like... I left a color out, but I don't see one. I'm also going to be using um, titanium white. So the object of this pour is to flood part of the canvas with a contrasting color and then to do a ring pour actually into a dustpan. And this is the dustpan I'm going to be using today to do this ring pour. I will layer the paints in a, into a cup, make a ring pour into the dustpan, and then lay that out onto the canvas and tilt it out a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is flood the canvas with the top color that I want to be used. And then you will see me do the layering of the cup and the ring pour into the dustpan. I'm going to put some tunes on while I do all of that. And I'll be back at the end to speak to you and show you a close up. i 
not gonna wait, not gonna waste our time. We're not gonna stress, not gonna make a mess. Oh, I wanna be less than I can be. Hey guys, I'm back with the dried results of this painting and I tell you I could not be more pleased with how it turned out. You probably saw that I poured a second cup during the video. I feel like I really had to work to get this one like I wanted it, but again I could not be more pleased. I ended up wanting to change the top a little bit and the way it was constructed, so I used Kathleen Osmore's technique of using my base coat as an eraser. And by doing that, I was able to add some variety to the shapes at the top of this painting. I'm going to go down and give you a close-up of some of the parts. I'm really, really, really happy about the way these rings turned out and held their shape. I'm also extremely happy about the contrast in the colors and how beautiful this turned out. The top of this painting is just gorgeous. And I'm really happy that I gave this one a try on this collab. I really appreciate you watching. 
the video. If you liked it, would you please give me a thumbs up? If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you do so. And please go back and watch the other artists that are in this collab. If you haven't seen their videos yet, I will have them all listed below in the description box. And again, I thank you so much for being here. I hope you'll come back to Elaine Burton Art, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.